Hi, and welcome to Three Questions Wick. I'm my longtime friend Ryan Kyle with us. Ryan, welcome to the show. Thanks, man. How are you? Uh, I'm doing good. Still living the dream, bro. So, Ryan, yeah. a lot of my friends aren't living the dream, all kidding aside. Yeah, they just don't know what to do. You know, we're so used to the way we do things. For me, example, I host in-person networking events. That's not an option right now. Some of my friends still want to come, surprisingly, Ryan. They're like, when are you going back to work? But right now, I can't do that. So I have to look at maybe doing events online. Doesn't everyone really need to do, the, do that, look at a different way to run their business at this time? Well, a hundred percent. I mean, if, if people haven't made the switch, you know, in this time, I'm not sure they're ever going to make the switch, but I mean, technology is here. It's been here for a while. Um, if you're not leveraging it, you should be. But I think a lot of people, if they're looking at the opportunity side of this are learning how to leverage the technology. But I know personally for me, my day becomes so much more efficient when I don't have to jump in a car and drive to meetings or commute anywhere. I can have two or three times the meetings I normally do in a day because I can do it just like this. Um, and the more people are, are accepting of that for obvious reasons now, the more that I can get done. So for me personally, it's made, it's made my world a lot more efficient um, as people are more accepting of the fact that we're going to do phone calls and video calls. One of the things I've been saying too is some of my friends are dusting off their old skills. You know, they may have done something in the past, switch careers, and not are saying, well, I do have ability to do graphic design, for instance. So we should maybe look at other ways of making money too? Yeah, well, I, 100%, right? I mean, by, by nature, business owners and entrepreneurs, I mean, probably didn't land in their current career. It's the only thing they've ever done in their life, right? They've made money other ways. Uh, and at times like this, especially times like this, I mean, you've got to, you've got to pull all your weapons out, right? If, if your, your, your first employment is affected by this, then go to the next one, go to the next employment after that, you know, dust off old skills, like you said. Uh, the key is, is just to keep a positive attitude, keep getting up in the morning, put one foot after the other, right? And, and there are ways to make money. I mean, you know, just because you can't make it in your primary occupation or if your primary occupation is being affected by this, you got to keep a positive attitude, keep being a business owner, keep being an entrepreneur and just keep going. Figure out how to hustle and how to make that money. One of the other things that I'm seeing, Ryan, is the number of people who are just calling me to say hi. You know, hey, I'm just concerned about you as a friend. You know, and I think that's powerful. You know, they're not trying to sell me anything like, oh, if you're afraid, you know, you should do this. You know, they're just like, hey, just want to check on you. I care about you. You're a valued client, valued friend. How you doing? Okay. I think it's powerful. Yeah, I, I've, I, you know, I've getting a lot of phone calls and my kids are doing a lot of video chats with their friends and cousins and, and family and, you know, as many business calls as I'm taking, um, you know, which are probably three or fourfold at this point. It's interesting because the calls typically either start or finish with that, those same types of sentiments and people wonder, how are you doing? How are you making out through this? Um, you know, and I think that's important. People got to stick together. You got to keep each other encouraged. I mean, you know, we, we think we're in this, this doom and gloom, but if we look at the opportunities that we have here, just to slow down a little bit and, you know, a lot of people needed just to slow down, kind of put things in perspective. And if you're not experiencing perspective now, right, I mean, you're not human, right? Yeah. So I think that's, that's important, but yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, and if you're not checking in with people, you need to be. <laughs> yeah. It is, like you said, it's powerful and stuff. So Ryan, how can people learn more? How can they reach out to you if they need advice? Uh, they, uh, they, can always, they can always get to my email, which is rcar at easternfinancialnetwork.com. You can also hit me on Instagram at uh, one and only rhino, at one and only rhino. And you can find me on Facebook also, the Rhino Agency and Rhino Tax. Uh, hit me up, any questions, business related, tax related, uh, financing, corona, emergency related, uh, please feel free to reach out. Great. And I really appreciate a few minutes to jump on with us. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Awesome, man. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.